The whole AMD RX 9070 situation is more chaotic than North American politics right now. First, we received countless leaks about what the next gen Team Red graphics cards will look like, including a new naming scheme. Then, we didn't get a single word about them during the CES conference, despite the fact that I literally saw them out in a wild on the show floor in Vegas, being shown off by partners at Gigabyte. And now, even more leaks have appeared, showing us exactly what kind of performance we can expect, and also that we have to wait a few weeks more for any any kind of announcement. The RX 9070 XT is supposed to be on par with the RTX 4080, at least in rasterization. We all know that they've struggled quite a bit to keep up with Nvidia when it comes to ray tracing, though they're still expected to take quite a few big leaps with that with the upcoming generation. And sure, being just on par with a last gen product doesn't seem like a huge win, but keep in mind that AMD aren't really doing flagships in a typical sense anymore. Sure, while this will be the most high-end card, it won't be priced as a flagship because of the change in strategy to more mainstream products. So unless they completely mess it up, and you know, it's AMD, so you never know, having 4080 performance at an actually reasonable price for once could be all it takes for them to really pull ahead next generation. Now, thing is, we still have to wait quite a bit to even find out what these cards will be like, with most leaks pointing towards some kind of reveal in March. But okay, what about the fact we literally saw them at CES, but no one said literally anything about them? I mean, I even asked them the reps there, and they weren't even able to share any specs with me whatsoever, even though the product is pretty much final. Well, it looks like it was all part of AMD's strategy, even if it did catch certain manufacturers off guard, clearly. They could have waited until after Jensen Huang went on that stage at CES and revealed exactly how much performance you will be getting from the RTX 50 series and our price, and then try to do their own thing, basically following second to try and react to what Nvidia is doing to finally, hopefully, stand a chance against them in the GPU wars. But is AMD's strategy actually going to pay off here? Well, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and we check out our Patreon as well, because guess what? Going to Las Vegas to cover CES wasn't cheap, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Adam Ronyak, Badr Shvelka, Badr Karrison, not a pseudonym, like Summoner Machine, Allcroft, and Level Up. But Anyway, that's it. It's I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.